god. Oh my god, it's um it's like right around 11:15 p.m. on Saturday, April 8th, and I was just awoken by sudden overpowering intense smoke and fumes coming from the bathroom of unit 78 that's <coughs> filling my entire living space right now I've been lying on my bed sleeping and was just awoken a few minutes ago by my entire living space being filled by super intense and overpowering fumes <coughs> <coughs> fumes and smoke <coughs> coming from the bathroom of unit 78 I've just had to open my window again I've been sleeping for the last like three hours <coughs> oh my god <coughs> Holy cow. Wow. <coughs> wow, that is like an attack. Holy cow. There is someone right now sitting in the bathroom. <clears throat> okay, so I've just had to sit up in bed open my curtains, open the shade, open my window, and let in some air. Because right now, and so this is my hand right here, so the window's open about five inches. <coughs> wow, that stuff is foul. There's a psychopath <clears throat> sitting in the bathroom of Unit 78 that is directly behind my kitchen sink that is just a few feet from the end of this bed. And right now, <clears throat> they're filling my entire living space with smoke. And it is just, it, it woke me up out of a sound sleep. I was fast asleep. I fell asleep at around 9.30, so it's about 11.15 now, so yeah. I've been sleeping for a couple of hours and was just awoken by nonstop smoke and fumes, sickening, overpowering, intense fumes coming from the bathroom of Unit 78, filling my entire living space. I have to open this window even more because the fumes are so intense. I can't get rid of the smoke. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so now it's open. <clears throat> now it's open like a foot and a half. This is my hand right here. And there is someone. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn on the light. I usually don't like to make videos with the light on, but I'll turn on the light. Just for the sake of accuracy. <clears throat> <coughs> this happens multiple times per day. This is nothing unusual. So there's someone directly behind that wall right there, burning and smoking, nauseating, sickening, <coughs> smelling substances that are filling my entire living space in the area around this bed. The area behind that sink is the bathroom of an empty vacant unit, Unit 78, that was recently vacated by a known psychopath, cyber criminal slash sex offender named Jasmine Irizarry. This person is severely disturbed, has a psychotic need to stalk and harass other people, and keeps accessing the bathroom that is behind the wall of my kitchen area. <coughs> <coughs> For the sole purposes of engaging in stalking, harassment, and physical harm in whatever ways that she possibly can. And like I said, I've been sleeping for the last two hours and have closed my curtains for warmth because there is no heat in this unit and was awoken a few minutes ago by nonstop sickening, overpowering smoke filling my entire living space in the area around this window, these windows 
from the bathroom of 78. I can guarantee that if I go out to the hallway right now, there will be absolutely no fumes and odors coming from anywhere in the hallway or the front stairwell because there never are. Whoever keeps blowing smoke and fumes into this living space in such quantities that it makes it difficult for me to breathe properly and makes me cough and makes it difficult for me to do anything in this unit while these smoke and fumes are filling my living space is doing it from the tiny unventilated windowless bathroom that is behind that wall because that is how she is able to fill my entire bathroom and living space um, you can only do it from a small space the, the front hallway and the front stairwell are very large huge spaces of air that are well ventilated so nobody standing in the hallway could possibly smoke stuff in enough quantities to fill this entire living space, especially all the way over here by the windows and by the sink. <laughs> the smoke and fumes are always coming from the wall directly behind my kitchen sink. Throughout the day today, this has been a real problem. The psychopath has been sitting directly behind that wall for hours all day today while I've been trying to do some cleaning and organizing, getting ready to see my family for Easter tomorrow. She seems to be really psychotically agitated and have a real problem with the fact that I went to bed early and she, you know, she exhibits knowledge of what I do on a moment by moment basis and makes a lot of really loud banging noises directly behind my toilet whenever I physically try to sit on my toilet. So obviously this psychopath has some way of knowing what I do in the privacy of this unit and then engages in harassment and disruption based on what I'm doing. So for instance, right now I've been sleeping for the last two hours. Um, was really tired, went to bed at 9.30, fell asleep, and was just now.